you know, it, it's for me, it's been one of those things that it's always been a love thing. I've always been drawn to fishing, even going back way when my dad was taking me when I was way young and he was having to cast and doing the deal and the love just started growing more and more for me the more I did it the more I elevated my game the more the products increased the more doors that it opened for me um, and, and I, I tell people that and I tell the younger generations that are going into the fishing world that same thing anything you want to do and be successful at all it does is take work I push myself, which I think the competitive edge in, in any, you know, athlete is, is that's what it is. And I compare this to an athletic deal is because it's just the same mindset. Not necessarily that I'm athletic, but it's the same mindset as far as driven by a craft and trying to push to get better and make something of yourself in it and also it to really you know show you what you are um and and that's that for me is a is a game which i can take i take it competitive and that's why i do what i do for me i like colder months uh i want 15 miles an hour wind i don't want 30 but i want you know 10 to 20 miles per hour colder conditions i'm looking for water in the 55 to 64 range uh, more days than not and you know targeting you know bigger trout which are typically less bites but the quality is higher uh, that, that, those are my optimal conditions cooler weather uh, cooler water temperatures 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. I can deal with southeast or northeast, but those are my two go-to winds that I, if I can pick a day, a perfect day, those are what I would pick. I got to where I am today because of the start was obviously from my dad who's been doing it for a long time and been a very reputable name in the game but it's also been a lot of hard work on my end as well sometimes following in the shoes of a Michael Jordan in the fishing world is not necessarily as easy as it might think I mean as far as I'm always being compared uh, we all have tough days and, and you know sometimes that's what drives me I'm very competitive but though that's what drives me is the drive to catching them and proving myself every day trying to push to get better and make something of yourself in it and also it to really you know show you what you are Parts of the day changes, which the fishing conditions are always changing, which so is my mindset of it. You know, wind's doing one thing, tide's doing another, now the tide's slack. I'm, I'm putting those pieces together as we go throughout the day and uh, trying to trying to put my guys on fish and teach them something more, teach them something more that they can take than just catching a box full of fish. You know, the wind, the where's, the why's, the how's. Uh, is why I do it uh, and also you know what goes into my day teaching not necessarily always catching which I would not be doing this if I didn't catch that's not what I'm saying but my guys are are looking to be more anglers on their own uh, than just with a guy uh, and that's what I want to promote I want to promote fishing in general not 
just going out and catching a bunch of fish, which I trust me, my days are a lot better when we catch a bunch of fish. So that's what I'm trying to do. But I want people to be able to take something away from the day other than just a bag of fillets. I want them to be able to say, I learned that I don't throw the right braid. I don't have the right reel. I don't have the right shirt. I don't have pockets. I don't have the right buffs. I don't have all those little bitty things are things that people that don't do it every day make us better and easier make things easier for us because lord knows the fish make it hard enough on us we do, i need everything i can to make it easier on me and that goes down to everything i wear to everything i throw to every time i turn the engine on to every lure i tie to every knot i tied uh, you know all those things make my life a lot easier so i try to control all those little things and then when I get the opportunity, I try to capitalize.